Hello from Nadik again. The first time in this photo trip where I got some really nice light. Just look at this. Or, yeah, I don't know if you can see it on the GoPro, but you'll see it on the photo later. So today I put in a little bit more work and went to the other end of the island. So first some biking, then some hiking. And yeah, now I'm here at this beautiful beach and we have some very sweet light and the best thing, I'm the only person here. It's so great. And yeah, I now took the first photo with those rocks here in the composition, then the water flowing through the frame here. And yeah, I have to make the most of the light. So I now do a little more scouting around and also find a few more photos, hopefully. So we'll see. So I've had a look around, but really didn't find a better composition and maybe I could have if I just run around a little bit more, but I've decided instead of chasing around, searching for compositions, I just stick with this one here and yeah, enjoy the sunrise. Take a few more photos and yes, this is also important. It's if you just spend the whole morning running around trying to get as many photos as possible, you really miss the most important thing and this is to enjoy the scenery. And yeah, for me, it's mostly the most relaxing thing is just to get one composition or maybe two, stick with it, take a few photos along the way and just enjoy the scenery. And look at this. So I just don't want to run around. <laughs> and yeah, let's just look at the photos or at the photo setup, whatever. Um, so I'm using a soft GND filter and in front of it I also have a three-stop ND filter to get exposure times of around one second because it's already quite bright here. And this smooths out the water a bit and makes it look a little silky. Also, I have the sun now right in the frame here. And when I now take a photo for the foreground, this can uh, produce some lens flares. And what I just do when I take the photo, I will put my finger or my hand in front of the sun and by this avoiding lens flares in the rest of the frame. And I usually combine such a photo then with a photo where I focus to the background and do bracketed exposures. And yeah, that's an easy workflow to just cut out lens flares in your frame. Yeah, but now enough talk, now it's just some time to enjoy. Yeah. 